Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kicking Gods Gaming. This is Stuff on Steam, and today I'm going to be playing Dead Pixels. This is a game that came out about three days ago, and it's a kind of 2.5D zombie survival shooter. Um, it's on say obviously on Steam. It's made by a company called CSR Studios, and it's one pound ninety nine. It's really, really cheap, and there's a lot of content. I picked this up yesterday, uh, and I had a little play with it last night, um, just to see if it was any good before I did a video on it today. Uh, and I think it probably is. Now, let me just, yeah. I'm afraid I've had to turn off both music and sound effects in the game here, so it's going to be a bit quiet. Problem with that is that, oh, God, the, look, I'll show you right now. You can The music and sound effects can either be on or off. There's no volume. And if you try and exit out to the to the desktop or like tab out to the desktop to um, to adjust the the sound levels manually, it crashes the game uh, when you try and come back in every single time. I've tried it about six times now, and it crashes the game. So unfortunately, it's just going to be my voice and not a lot else. Um, so let's get going anyway. I'm going to start a new game. This game has three game modes: it has Dead Pixels, which is like a sort of story although without st much of a story you got the solution which is like a puzzle mode and last stand which is a survival mode what I'm going to do today is just do dead pixels mode uh, single player it is local co-op which is you know a bonus unfortunately not online but only local but still for for the price that's you know co-op at all is, is pretty good and we're going to go play on easy because that really all of the difficulties effect is how many um, how many waves you get, like how many streets you have to pass down, 10, 20, 30 or 30 with some extra hard shit on there. We're going to go easy because it's just 10 and I want to just make a dash through the game like this for now and at least see if I can get to the end. So we're going to start. It's July 15th, 1983 in New Hexiton, New York. A toxic waste spill in the chemical plant finds its way into the water supply. Three days later, the recently deceased rise from their graves. Those they kill also return from the dead. Within the week, only 5% of the people can be considered alive. The army was sent in to clean up the city, but were forced to fall back. The city was put under quarantine until a solution could be found. A group of survivors on the other side of the city have a way out. It's time to leave the city. Using a map, you have found the quickest way to the survivors. But first, you have to fight your way through the horde. Dead pixels. Okay, so let's get going. Come on, hurry up and load. I don't want Here we go. We're ten streets away from her salvation. It tells you your zombies killed, the time of day, where you are, and how far you've got to go. So let's get started. Um, I'm playing this with a controller. Um, the game does fully support controller, uh, and it's probably for the best. I'm not reading that stuff at the top. It's just tutorial things. I don't need to. I know what I'm doing. But um, it's what you can do. So you say when I say it's 2.5D, obviously you say you can go up and down the screen, but the screen only scrolls left to right. Um, when you see a building like this. Uh, it doesn't normally have free stuff written, but when there's a door that's open, not boarded over, you can go in and you can loot stuff. We've got a few bits there, cuddly toy and some adrenaline stuff. Nothing particularly interesting. Um, oh god, I've got to get out of this bit. Here we go, I can see what I've got now. Here we go, I've got uh, med, med kits and adrenaline and some grenades. I've got a shotgun to start with. Now with these ones, ones that have arrows are traders. Traders let you obviously buy and sell stuff. You can buy upgrades for your character, health, speeds, million weapon skills and strength, uh, bargaining, luck, things like that. They really help you out and you want them. Every trader has a wanted panel and they'll tell you something that they're looking for and they'll pay an extra high for. Valentine double barreled. I have to say in this case if I had a Valentine double barreled, I wouldn't sell it anyway. Um, you can save your game here. Um, but first of all, what do we want? I've got $170. And I want ammo. You can buy weapons and everything else here, but what I really need at the moment is ammo. 
Um, I advise when you're playing this to take as much ammo as you can. And as you can see, once you've been into a place, or some places have it anyway, there's a red cross. You can't go into those any more than you can go into the boarded up ones. It's a nice bit of gibbs on the floor there, and we've got some zombies coming. Here we go. Let's. These guys take a, a beating at first because this gun's crap and I've got no skills. Pick up a few objects. You do um, have a weight limit. Once you pass that, you slow down. Once you keep on going past that, you really slow down. Uh, so it's best to keep selling stuff up when you get to traders. A couple of cuddly toys. Also, early in the game, I mean, I'm killing everything at the moment. It's not always a good idea to kill absolutely everything you find. Uh, because ammo is pretty scarce. Now, if I can get a decent amount here. Oh, I have something he wants. Here you go. When in the group wanted goes green, it means that they have something. And he wants disinfectant. And he's going to pay 180 for it. Which is, you know, it's great. So, that's that. What else can we... Let's see what we can sell. I haven't got any weapons to sell. I'm not going to sell my two hand grenades, because they're very useful. Or my med kits. The adrenaline, I never really use, but I might as well hold on to that. Here's what you're going to sell a lot of the time. Valuables. They're not very valuable, to be honest, but... Look, disinfectant normally sell for here for 64, and he paid me 180. That's fantastic. Sell a couple of those. It's always worthwhile keeping uh, one of everything because you don't know what the people are going to want um, I do want um, that ammo and I'm going to need one of these I'm sure I'll find one of these soon but yeah buy all the ammo you can afford uh, always because otherwise you just run through it and you end up using your melee attack which is pretty useless to be honest Uh, uh, five. It would take me all day to kill them like that, see? I mean, you can put your release skill up, so it actually does a decent amount of damage, but yeah, you know, I'm not doing that. So you're going to end up shooting most things. Oh, screw it, you can just get by that. You can run by them. There's nothing to make say you have to kill everything. Uh, and in many cases, it's actually not a particularly good idea. But here you go, Chambers Bolt action. That's why I bought that, because I've got some ammo. It's worth pointing out that this game is procedurally generated, as in the layout of um, what's what you have to fight, what um, shops or buildings you can loot and things on the street, it changes every time you play, and there's a nice crit. That's what your luck does, it brings up, uh, gives you crits. Um, so yeah, it's a different every time you play it, and so you can, uh, you know, you don't get bored, you know, don't know where everything is, It's you have to just search every each time. And here's another trader, and I have something he wants. He's looking for disinfectant as well. Or she? Is it a she, I suppose? Or who knows? Who cares? They're going to pay me for it. I'm going to sell... Uh, not selling a weapon. I might have some valuables to sell. A lighter. I'll sell a lighter. Um, and I've got 529. That's not anywhere near enough for upgrades. Although she's offering a good price. However, I do need to buy... Uh, that and that at first you'll end up spending pretty much all of your m uh, money on ammo, let's change to the rifle um, but uh, it's worth it because it gets you uh, through the game uh, and you get money from everything you kill I see every time I kill a zombie I get a coin from it um, and you get got a bronze coins from these crappy dudes as it gets better you get silver and gold coins and here's the end of the street and that's where a lot of the choice comes in because the coins only last for literally like two or three seconds and then they vanish so you really can't always just stay back you have to get in close and actually fight um, up close so you can get those coins before they vanish now uh, I didn't find anything else I haven't got much money so I'm gonna Grab, uh, grab a, a bit of ammo, and that's it. Um, yeah, because say if you just stand back and shoot them all from the edge of the screen, the coins will be vanishing, and you'll never get any money. Uh, and you don't kind of buy, end up buying anything. You really want to get in there and fight up close. And somehow I've taken a hit, and I don't know where or when I took it. 
Oh, a box of shells, fantastic. Um, but never mind, we're just trying to avoid. I'm just zooming through this actually as, as quick as possible because it'll take, depending on how quick you go, depending on how thorough you want to search, it's, it'll take um, anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes to run through, generally, to run through um, 10 streets. And obviously the game gets longer than the harder difficulties. Um, you can speed it up if you're doing like I'm doing and just really going for the important stuff. Uh, buy ammo. I'm just getting ammo mostly so I can zoom by. Uh, I'm not finding a whole lot of stuff worth selling. You should sell up all weapons that you have because Oh, brilliant, fantastic. The next next trader, I've got uh, some guns to sell. That'll get me some good money. And hopefully I can buy an upgrade. Because the upgrades are very important. Uh, you really do, really do need the upgrades. And there's a silver coin, because that's a slightly stronger dude. That's actually the second type of uh, zombie you come across. Is the, other than these shambling brainless corpses, you get these guys, anything that has the green goo dripping out and here I'm over encumbered now uh, out, out, they shoot at you and it, it hurts it hurts a lot let's uh, handgun, eagle, shotgun and I'm running fairly low on health now as well but as you see, you go very slow when you're over encumbered. So I'm going to have to get to a, a trader to get rid of it. You can just dump it, but I don't like doing that if necessary. Although this is really slowing me down now. And I'm just hoping I can find a trader for the end of this street. Let's use up one of my med kits. Get my health back up. Because I'm seriously over encumbered. And you can upgrade that. It strengths upgrades your carrying capacity. Let's you carry more. Here we're at the end of the street. Let's get into the next street and see if I can find uh, a trader uh, and get rid of some of this stuff because you know it's. Uh, I'm going very very slowly. It's very hard to dodge the zombies when you're going this slow. And there's another place to loot, so I'm going to end up another two places to loot. I'm going to be probably even more over encumbered. I wonder how. How far I can go? Ugh! I've got some more shells at least. And. Oh god, and now I'm gonna be. Yeah, look at this. I'm hardly even moving anymore. I've got so much stuff to sell. And here come zombies. Here's the horde! Right, I've gotta drop, drop some of this. 147 over 100. I can't. I just can't move. Valuable. So what have I got here? I've got nine of these mystery meats. Now this stuff, it it's good to get rid of some of this stuff because it doesn't fetch a lot. Um, discard, 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 discard. I'll just keep one. Uh, what else have I got down here? Cuddly toys. They don't weigh much. That mystery meat was weighing me down a lot. So I'm still very over encumbered. Um, Chamber shotgun is the worst thing. Uh, actually, no, these handguns. They're worth not a lot. 50. Uh, discard. Discard. And that should get me moving at a more reasonable speed. As, oh, I just, just made that coin. See, As you can see, they really do not last long. So you have to be up there nice and close uh, to to really collect them. It's a good way to make sure, say, people actually get in there and tackle the horde. <coughs> great, now I'm going to pick up a whole load more shit. Oh no, ammo, great. Ammo doesn't weigh anything. That's that's uh, fantastic, because it, it's the best thing. Oh, fuck, I'm getting hurt as well. I've got to get to a shop. Please be a shop somewhere here. Oh, there's a chamber's handgun, toilet paper, mystery meat. Oh, four mystery meats, see, they weigh an absolute ton. 
I'm actually going to leave that for now. I can come back if I can find a trader. You're free to go back through sections and streets as much as you want. So if you find something that a, a trader wanted, um, you can go back and hand it to them. Uh, and here we go. Oh, fantastic. Here we go, you see. I've just got to kill these guys because they're going to beat me to the door otherwise. I can't afford that. Let's pop in here, take everything from the church, and then go in the trader. Oh, brilliant. Right. Let's sell up some of this. Sell up a couple of these Chambers shotguns. Now, Redfield Eagle, Chambers bolt action. The the Eagle is pistol. At 49 damage, 720 range, 1.1 fire, 5 penetration. This does only 35 damage. And 1.1, it's got more penetration. It does slightly less damage, more penetration. I prefer the bolt action to the pistols, to be honest. And the pistol's going to fetch me more money. So I'm going to sell those. Sell one of those. And that, oh look, that brings my weight straight back down. Valuables. Sell some of these. Just keeping one of each. Um... I've got some money for upgrades, but first of all, I'm going to buy some more ammo. Um, as you can just buy, this is what I often do, just buy all the ammo, even the green one. Now, that's something I actually haven't mentioned. <coughs> is, uh, oh shit. Um, the weapons, as you notice, they've got coloured names. It just defines what type of weapon they are and what type of ammo they use. And then obviously the ammo matches the weapons. Um... So you know what you need to buy depending on what you got. Now we're back into the trader quickly. I've got this handgun to sell. See, they're worth bugger all. Um, get my weight down. So a couple of toilet papers. Four of these mystery meats. And I've got some money back. So what I'm going to buy is an upgrade. No, I'm not because this guy's really expensive. Prices do change between traders. Um, and this one was a little bit too expensive. I couldn't afford it. Ah, here's another trader. Let's see upgrades. Oh, this here. This one's cheaper. And what I'm going to buy first of all, it's not much cheaper, and this is not still not cheap. You know, they do go down a bit, but running speed is really the first thing you want. Here we go. Look, zoom. You want to be able to get round these zombie bastards. Bolt action, that's better. Goes through. Obviously, the shotgun has a spread, but not much penetration. The bolt action, and there's even better bolt action. See, uh, that's more damage, more range, more penetration. Um, so, I'm going to take it all and pop back in here. Let's redfield bolt action. There we go. I'm going to sell weapons, sell a chambers shotgun, and the chambers bolt action, because it's just not as good. I've got better guns now. Um, I'm going to buy any ammo you have, any and all ammo, I'm just, oh god I can't afford that now, shit. Oh well, I bought as much as I could afford, i get a bit more monies off of these guys kill you because you're annoying and let's move on I've spent I've wasted enough time here I really want to get to the end of this if in this playthrough if I can so that's why I'm playing the shortest mode it's not actually any easier than when the zombies don't die any easier you don't take any less damage it just means you have to cover less streets now there are other types of weapons. You might see me buy some green ammo, which I shouldn't have done. I, I kind of did stupid there. That's for the machine gun weapons, um, which are brilliant. Don't do a lot of damage. Have decent penetration, but obviously they um, shoot very, very fast. Uh, they do rinse through their ammo pretty quick, but yeah, everything does. <laughs> so I'm just going to zoom into the ends here. I'll tell you about anything else as I see. Oh, a hand grenade. Great. I've got three hand grenades now. I haven't actually used any of those yet. And I'm at the end of this street. I'm saving on, holding on to those. Because they're very good. They're very powerful. Kill whole groups of zombies in one go. Um, but they're not 
They're easy to come by and they're not cheap. They're worth saving for when I get mugged by a whole horde. Uh, and it will happen. I will get hoarded at some point. Oh, and now I'm over encumbered again. Crap. Next time I can buy something, it's a strength upgrade. Just trying to move along and not discard anything unless I absolutely have to because I want to get to the trade. I need the money. You need the money, you need the ammo. How much shotgun shells have I got? 98 shotgun shells. Okay, we're actually pretty good for shotgun shells at the moment. But ammo, you don't really get a whole lot of ammo other than from the traders. You do find them in sh uh, buildings. Oh yes, thank you very much. Run. Yeah, I'm trying to run. You do find them in buildings, but not often and not a lot. Main supply of ammo comes from from the traders, and uh, it's, it's not cheap. Nothing is cheap. A bottle of water. Bullets, junk food. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, die. That's it. Give me your monies. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to pretty soon just just dump something because moving this slowly is I'm not going to get anywhere crap and this guy is going to get me at this rate he just he just walked straight on by okay fair enough oh he's blind isn't he that's why so there's lots of different types of zombies with different uh, attributes uh, different amounts of health some spit some run fast some just really tanky oh crap right now we're in trouble so uh, what have I got here in valuables? Have I got any more of this mystery meats? Uh, bottles of water and junk food. Well, water weighs quite a bit. Uh, actually, no, it weighs one. Uh, these meats weigh two each. These weigh one each. Have I got something else I can get rid of? Weapon. This chamber shotgun. I'll get rid of. Discard a chamber's shotgun and this bolt action again. Uh, discard. It's not worth a lot. Okay, I'm under my thing now. I can move around at a reasonable speed. Brilliant. Hate having to throw things away. I need to get a strength upgrade as soon as I can, but I don't have a lot of money, so I'm gonna just kill as many zombies as I can and heal up. Oh shit! An owl. Owl shit. So I was going to apologise to the, the, the there's no uh, game sound on this video. I think that's it's the one thing about this game that's really is annoys me actually. Um, the, there's no volume. It's just I suppose because it's, it's retro style. It's just sound and music on or off. And when it's on, it's an ungodly volume. Um, I've already tried recording this once. This is actually my second attempt. Uh, I found out very quickly you just couldn't hear my my voice over the sound. And so you're trying to turn it down just crashed it every bloody time.